so this was a, a neck exam for the diploma in civil engineering uh, this was a june july 2016 exam series so i've just taken question 2c for this part because it deals with the calculation i've left out the the theory part so this we were asked to calculate the crippling load of a steel rod 4 meter long and 50 millimeters diameter when used as a column with one end fixed and the other free take young modulus as 210 kilonewtons per millimeter squared for max so let's just get this for max very quick so first we i'll write for you the formula so this is the formula for calculating the crippling load so we take pi squared ei over effective length squared so here we have the young modulus we are we, we have to get the the inertia and the effective length so that we can proceed so first let's find the inertia that is the formula So punching that into the calculator will get will get three hundred and six seven hundred and ninety six that is our inertia when you punch it in the, into the calculator. Now let's find the effective length. So when we have we are told that effect that the column is one is fixed at one end and the and free at the other end, that means that effective length is equals to two times length. Our length was four meters, so we'll change that into millimeters. Now that is our effective length 800. So let's get the crippling load. We'll change the young modulus into into newtons per millimeter. So we'll times it by a thousand. I don't have a, a ruler. Let me just improvise by using a pen. We'll divide all this by effective length squared. So when you punch this into the calculator, all of this, you will get that the crippling load is 9,935. 9, That is in newtons, we can change that into kilonewtons by divided by a thousand. That is our answer, the crippling load.
is 9.94 kilonewtons.